Hi everybody, little ratty update. There's Larry. He's got a nut, but he's a little scared to eat. And up here we've got Hogan the Wonder Rat munching away on his nut. They're pecans. They love pecans. Personally, I am allergic to them, so I enjoy finding someone who can eat these pecans. Pretty little rats. Hogan the Wonder Rat and Radical Larry. They are sneezing much, much less after a week of their medicine that told me to forcefully shove it down their throats. And I was like, but there must be a better way. And she's like, well, you could mix it in their food. But, you know, the best way is to shove it down their throats. I tried to do that once, and it was so traumatizing for poor Larry that um, he won't come near me. And it's been four days since then. So I put it on their chicken. They love it. And they eat it right up. And it seems to be the best way to get them to take their medicine, and they've gotten exponentially better as a result. So yay. Hello, Hogan. They're still, they're still a little fearful. So, it's all touch and go with them. Still doing my best to let them know that, hey, I mean them no harm. Every now and then, I've got the, I've got the, oh, some wheels on these. And I'll wheel it on over to a secure room where I can open it, let them come out on their own, and play around. And I'll sit down with them, but they'll crawl all over me. As long as it's their idea, they seem to enjoy it. Poor Larry, he's so scared. Hogan weighs a whole kilogra uh, ten, kil 10 kilograms, sorry. Then Larry. He is gigantic in comparison. Makes it a little hard to believe that these guys are indeed brothers, but, you know, anything possible. They like to run on their wheel. They're practically litter trained, although Larry likes to dig it up. Just put it on the soft carpet. I don't know. Why? But he does. Over here on the upper layer, we've got some food, lots and lots of chew toys. I don't know what that green thing's for, but it's there. It came on the cage. It's a little ladder that Larry likes to climb. Up here is just the top level where they can smell stuff. I got this for them to chew on when they first uh, came in. When I first got them, they loved it. Now they won't touch it, so I moved it out of the cage because they were actually not going near it at all, which I don't get, but whatever. Whatever makes them happy. Oh, well, that's just uh, something heavy to keep them from getting under the blanket and utterly destroying it. As for the gerbils, we have gerbil baby bunny hiding somewhere under. No, she's not. She's right there. She looks just like a rock for a second there. Sleeping. She's sleeping. Oh, that's for my keyboard. The uh, air. It's not for anything else. Been playing Skyrim. Yeah. Hey. And over on this side is where Cookie's cage is. Bunny is no longer with us. Poor Bunny. She died about three weeks ago. We miss her a lot. Here's Cookie's. Hi, Cookie's. Hello, Cookie's. How are you? <laughs> Burying your food again. 
I can't see how much food you have left. Looks like she's got plenty for now. She'll get more tomorrow. She is so cute. Her fur has gotten a little darker. But that's okay. She's almost three now, so yay! Good little gerbil. So there's your update. Um, my little rodent family, the raddies and the gerbils. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.